guys good morning so today is tuesday and it's a brand new day as you can see i i decided to have a new hair color so i went to the salon last week to have a change i mean to have my hair color change so at least kaya pa no? i was able to have my own me time but in a while while i'm still taking care of my little girl i'll be taking a bath and i'll be going out to get teddy's um, medicine at the clinic another day I was able to buy some groceries yesterday afternoon and went to the vet clinic to um, return some food and replace another one and of course at a paper Teddy's medication so yeah currently right now Teddy's asleep So currently Teddy is on diapers, which I'm right and I observe at the moment to see if he has urge to pee. Yeah. And at the same time, I removed his catheter this morning since it's been three days already. And you know, putting the catheter for that long or more than that, it can really more cost to infection so that's why Dr. Brer advised me to do so as well so I just removed it then I informed his bed too in a while I'll be taking a bath and prepare stuff since I forgot to buy some nappies for you <laughs> I feel better welcome back so today is another day like what i've said a while ago and yeah i've done my bath prepped myself and i went out a while ago 
to buy some nappies. So here's the nappies that I bought. <laughs> yeah, so the reason I bought this one kasi paubos na rin yung, yung diapers na nilili and we have to buy a new one. Also, um, I have to switch back to this one since the the current nappy that she's using, eh, she got some rushes. Actually, I'm really excited to because, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to find this medium size tape type of diaper. Gladly, I was able to find this in Mercury Drug. Kaya, <laughs> I was so happy na nakita ko siya ulit. <laughs> this one. So, going back, um, I want to share about what really happened to Teddy last few days ago. So, if you're following me on Instagram, well, you're gonna see there that I posted that Teddy got sick or he's not feeling well. Well, in fact, it was Commander T who found out that Teddy was not able to pee. And I mean, he has this urge to pee, but there's no output. We had to bring him to the Central Park Veterinary Clinic to treat him. And luckily, it was Dr. Cabrera who checked him. So when we went there, um, he was put into catheter to check if was there a blockage in his hole so when we found out um wala namang wala namang batong naka naka bara or naka block but there was like a stricture or something like a tissue that has been blocking on the canal so luckily the pee went out and we we thought that everything's okay so he was given medication and recovery uh, food to feed him then on the next day Sunday um, early in the morning that was the time when unfortunately Commander T left for out of town and we me and Lovely were just here and it was morning when my cousin found out that Teddy was so lethargic and he cannot pee again so I spoke to Dr. Cabrera had a call with him to know Teddy's condition and we had and he said that we had to bring him back to the clinic so we checked him again and there's still the same thing there's really a lot of strictures and this time his pee is full of blood so that's when we found out that he has urinary tract infection and now we had to put him on IV fluids so that's when he was given antibiotic through IV or intravenous line, which I I requested it so that I requested it para lang to have a faster recovery since Teddy doesn't want to eat to, uh, he, and he doesn't like to drink, which is really quite a hard time for us to feed him or let him drink. And knowing that he's also lethargic, Doc Cabrera was able to get uh, urine sample para ma-check yung ihi niya to confirm talaga if it's really urinary tract infection but based on the symptoms that he has aside from the fever so it means there's really an infection na. so yun so we brought him home um, me and my cousin did took care of him para lang ma makomply namin yung mga needs niya and you know it's really hard to take care lalong lalo na pag may anak <laughs> so para kaming may may dalawang baby sa block ng bahay na to mention whiskey and daily ha na another babies then <laughs> ang hirap pero tiniis lang namin because we want the best for Teddy and right now he is slowly recovering we have to force feed him and force drink water for him para lang bumalik yung sigla niya and for now since his IV line yung tinusok niya dito sa arm niya was dislodged so i have to remove it now the antibiotics will will be given once a day via subcutaneous so i have to inject it to him with of course with the doctor's guide and 
and advice of course so, in case you didn't know pala Teddy is getting six years old this year honestly way back before three years ago I already had this awareness na he could have or me could might have urinary tract infection again kasi he uh, had a history of of having it before also like what i've said kanina um teddy had a surgery before so that was way back 2018 where he has the same symptom he can he has the urge to pee but no no output and he was suddenly faint i mean hindi naman siya totally fainted pero parang pagtayo niya he cannot stand up well and suddenly fell down so that's when we knew that we had to bring him rush to the hospital because something is not right and that time ano pa talaga yon that was holy week if i'm not mistaken and there was only one clinic that was open here and and they do emergency treatment for for pets like teddy so we had to bring him there and we found out that teddy has true white stones in his bladder this stone was already been blocking teddy's urinary canal causing him not to pee so yung blockage na yun it went through his genital kaya he cannot the pee cannot pass and if there's already pain in his genital area so what they did was they had to remove the stone it was successfully done but what they do was he had to be spayed and to the place where he was spayed they will have to put a hole in it pado na lalabas yung ihi niya so i don't know what i for i don't know or i forgot what type of procedure is that it was like just opening of the bladder to remove the the sediments in there including the stones and then rerouting the canal instead from his genitals but make another hole to for him to pee again so that's what happened so parang ginawan siya ng bagong genital part area <laughs> para lang makalabas yung ihi niya it was successful it took us like I guess more or less six months for his treatment and his um, recovery. And then, from the time he was recovered, na he didn't expect that the hole in that, that new hole was almost closed, na so hindi na naman siya makakaihi. And luckily, we met um, Dr. Cabrera and his wife in Central Park Veterinary Clinic where he got another surgery again and this time his hole now was way bigger than before so he, that's what happened dr cabrera already told us before na there could be a chance na pwedeng babalik yung, yung stone niya or he will get urinary tract infection since the canal his canal is much more near compared with in his previous genital so what would you expect and of course if his pee is highly alkaline uh, in terms of pH level so he's more at risk to have an infection so yun that's already a heads up from us and with regards to Teddy's case right now medyo may aware na kami and I'm really so thankful with Cent to Central Park Veterinary Clinic kasi they were able to assist us in all our in all of our dog's needs so today is already the fourth day of teddy's recovering from his sickness and since nung sunday he was put on into catheter attached with a bit of uh, with suture para hindi lang matanggal yung catheter just to let the urine flow freely so ngayon tinanggal ko na with doctor's advice and now he's on diaper which we had to observe him for within 24 hours or more than that to see if he can be naturally na alam nyo it's really a good advantage talaga no if you were 
if you're a fur mom or a fur dad who is medically inclined to this because it would be really hard to to, discin to distinguish and and to identify what's really the problem of your of your fur pet you know or your fur baby and you know guys they're not like babies kasi, or human babies because they just don't cry they just keep quiet and suddenly, suddenly you'll just notice the the symptoms like very lethargic he doesn't want to eat he doesn't want to drink he cannot pee or he cannot poop or something like that unlike with babies that you just have to cry and you know even if it's hard to identify as well but you know babies cry and you can really sense that something is feeling really wrong with her or him so yun yung masasabi ko na i'm quite thankful that because of my knowledge ko in in the medical side helped me a lot to identify what's causing Teddy's problem <clears throat> so there you have it guys so thank you so much for watching i'll try to make uh, more life updates despite of my busy schedule and of course don't forget to hit like subscribe and of course don't forget to follow me on my instagram and on my facebook okay so thank you so much guys have a good day